Skaloey the Brave Skaloey loves to puff through the hills on the island of Sodor. His favorite place is a pretty village high up in the mountains. But in the winter, the mountain village gets very cold. So it's important that the engines deliver coal to the village. The houses must be cozy and warm. One morning, Reneus was delivering his empty freight cars to the incline. The winch brings empty cars up the incline and lowers full cars down to be delivered to the villages across the island. Reneus was frightened of the incline. It was very high. So Reneus shunted his cars into place and then he backed away quickly. You are such a scaredy engine, laughed Skaloey. I'm not scared of anything. Skaloey thought he was the bravest engine in the world. But then, the winch's coupling broke. Oh no! Skaloey steamed away as fast as he could. Skaloey raced right past Thomas, who was waiting on the main line. Skaloey switched tracks, and the claws rolled right past him. But they were heading straight for Rusty. Rusty hooted loudly to the signalman, who changed the points. Soon the narrow-gauge controller, Mr. Percival, arrived. Well done, Rusty, Mr. Percival said. You are a really brave engine. Thank you, sir, said Rusty proudly. But Skarloey wasn't happy. I want to be the bravest, huffed Skarloey. I want to show everyone that I'm the bravest engine of all. The next day, Skarloey was shunting freight cars onto the incline. How can I prove I'm the bravest? He puffed to himself. Suddenly, Skarloey had an idea. If I went up the hill on the winch, he puffed, then everyone will see how brave I am. The winch hooked onto Skarloey's freight car coupling. Skarloey was still coupled up, but he didn't tell the workmen. Slowly, Skarloey was pulled up the hill. When Reneus and Duncan arrived at the bottom of the incline, they gasped. Look where Skarloey is, puffed Reneus. That is the bravest thing to do, chuffed Duncan. Duncan cheered and Reneus blew his whistle. Skarloey felt prouder than ever. Look at me! Look at me! he puffed. At last, Skaloey reached the top of the incline. I'm the bravest engine in all the world, he called. But Skaloey was too heavy, and the winch broke. Whee! puffed Skaloey as he raced down the hill. But when he got to the bottom, he couldn't stop. Skaloey raced all the way to the transfer yards. He raced past a very surprised Thomas and straight into the snowbank. Mr. Percival was very cross. Skarloey, you have broken the winch, he said. The mountain village will get no coal today, and it's very cold. Skarloey felt very bad. The village won't be cozy and warm, puffed Skarloey sadly. And it's all by full.
Suddenly, Scarloey had an idea. There's only one thing to do, he puffed. I will have to collect the coal myself. Scarloey arrived at the top of the incline and found Reneus and Duncan had brought the supplies to repair the winch. Are you going to take the freight cars down the incline without the winch? asked Duncan excitedly. That would be really brave, chuffed Reneus. Scarloey wanted to show Reneus and Duncan how brave he was, but then he thought of the mountain village. No, said Scarloey firmly, I'm going to take the coal to the village. So he puffed slowly and carefully back down the steep track. No one was there to see him working hard. No one cheered or blew their whistles. But it didn't matter. What mattered was getting the coal to the village. It was late when Scaloe arrived at the village station. The villagers were very pleased to see Scaloe, and they were pleased to have coal to make their homes cozy and warm. They cheered and cheered and cheered. Scarloey was so proud it made his axles tingle. This is much better than showing everyone how brave I am, he puffed. And it certainly was.